My grandfather died about 25 years ago. And when my family were clearing out his attic, they found suitcases full of clothes. And in one of the suitcases, there was this one piece. It's a dress that once belonged to my grandmother. I believe it was made especially for her, I'm not really sure. Um, she died around 1957, I think. Anyway, bits of the dress are in a sorry state, rips in the lining, the nets come apart, some of the lining's hanging down, but the dress itself is in perfect condition. With tons of cousins, but most of them boys, I was the only girl that fit into it, so I have ended up as its keeper. I dug it out recently, wondering if I can still fit into it, and turns out I can, miraculously. <laughs> Anyway, despite being its keeper for my entire adult life, I still don't know anything about this dress. So if anyone can help me date it, that would be amazing. There is a serial number on it, but I don't know if that actually means anything. But more importantly, I need an event to wear it to. When do you wear a dress like this? So my next step is to fix the hem, but then I need a party. Yeah, so I know everybody's desperate to know how much the dress is worth. Um, Kerry, um, I'm actually going to tag them because they have got a TikTok account. Kerry Taylor Auctions and Kerry, who I spoke to, was so friendly. She told me something that <laughs> I burst into tears when she told me. I said in my last update that I wasn't sure if my grandmother had worn it. And she said without a shadow of a doubt, she has worn it. Which is just the best. It's just the best feeling. I mean, you can't, you can see how much I'm smiling and it's not because I've got a dress that's worth a lot of money. It's because of the history that comes with it. and the simply incredible things that I've found out. And I hope once I've pieced it all together that those of you that are invested will stay invested after this update because I know for some people it's just about the money that was stuck in an attic. Um, and I want to reassure, or if it does reassure anyone, that for me this dress has never been about its value. I wanted to wear it. Um, I still do want to wear it. <laughs> Kerry told me never to wear it so I don't know what I'm going to do about that um, as my husband pointed out the only time I can really wear a dress like that is at the Oscars and no one is ever going to invite me to the Oscars so maybe I should just send it to a museum anyway in terms of the value of the dress she said that the dress to ensure would be 30 to 35 thousand pounds which is mind-blowing. I don't even know how one goes about insuring something worth that much money. It was a bit of a bombshell. There we go. £35,000 worth of dress shoved in a suitcase in an attic for 50 years. Given to me, which was then shoved in a bag in a cupboard for 25 years. <laughs> I'm so sorry to the dress <laughs> and to everyone out there who recognised its value straight away. A few weeks ago I posted a video that went a bit viral. I asked for help identifying a dress I inherited 25 years ago and well, TikTok came through. I wanted to find out about the dress and in the very few weeks that have passed it's turned into a journey of discovery about my grandmother. One question that kept coming up was whether we had a photo of her in the dress. For a while we didn't think there was one, but a few days ago my uncle unearthed one. And then an incredibly kind person offered to colourise it for me, and it became even more special. Not least because it was the first time my mum got to see her mother in colour, that she can remember anyway. I'm still at the beginning of this story, but I've loved learning about her life and finding out that she got to enjoy this dress I love so much. If this is the first of these videos you're seeing, I've created a playlist so you can catch up on the story so far. I'm so looking forward to sharing the rest of the story with you just as soon as I discover. So a few of you have asked if any other clothes were found when my grandfather died. There were quite a few. Most of them went to other members of my family or to my mum. But this dress came to be. It's another beautiful dress. Don't worry, I'm not going to show you any crazy labels on this one. As far as we know, my grandmother made this dress herself. Um, it fits like a glove, so I feel very, very fortunate. Um, I don't know why I've never worn it. I guess it feels too special and too sentimental. Um, but maybe after everything that's happened, I should wear this. 